our third and our latest generation of navigation system. This time, this platform is based on uh, Android. The other previous two were based on uh, Microsoft uh, Windows. This new system has a couple of benefits over the existing systems that we have in our other vehicles. For one thing, it has an eight inch, uh, much larger screen. It's a capacitive touch, which means you're able to scroll through the menus, uh, very similar to the gestures you use on your uh, smartphone. Also uh, new for us is a, a home screen that has a side-by-side -side audio uh, and navigation system. So you'll be able to watch two systems at the same time. Also the graphics are much, much crisper and clearer relative to other vehicles out there. Uh, also, uh, in conjunction with our partners Infinity, we are uh, pairing this with a 10 speaker, 350 watt premium audio sound system. And because the speaker rings were such a huge hit on the previous model, we brought those things forward with an even additional color. So you'll get to check those out today. It's, it sounds great and it looks great too. Other features that you normally don't see in this category vehicle that we're introducing uh, for the first time, we're offering panoramic sunroof, uh, which we have uh, across all of our vehicles basically now. It's become a, uh, a signature feature for Kia. Uh, Xenon headlamps, LED tail lamps, which look very cool at night when you hit the brakes. Uh, I mentioned the, the new navigation system. Also, part of this is the new instrument cluster with, with a uh, what we re refer to as a redundant screen in front of the driver. So if you've got navigation programmed to a destination, Instead of having to constantly look down at the screen, we put a new 4.3 inch screen right in front of the driver between uh, the two instrument sets. So it's the next set of instructions are right in front of you. Turn right one mile ahead, so you don't have to glance down quickly. So it's, it's a neat feature. Uh, also, heated seats for the front and also the rear seats in addition to ventilated seats. And this is on a, a V crossover vehicle, so amazing content. Also, uh, very striking for the overall design is the color story. We've got seven new colors across the bottom here. It's uh, tough to read out there, so I'll read them out to you. Uh, Phantom blue, kale green, latte brown, cloud, infernal red, solar yellow, and our signature color that you've seen in all of our ads uh, that Michael showed earlier was alien. This is called the uh, refresh the color. It's a little bit brighter, cleaner, and crisper. We call it alien too. It doesn't include Sigourney Weaver, so. Uh, it's a very striking color. You'll see it downstairs. It's a, it's a really, really neat, cool color. Um, so new platform, new technology, much more sophisticated overall dynamics and refinement, and also the latest technology and uh, navigation systems. All of this is up about $300 more than the outgoing car. Only $300. It's, it was a huge battle to get this price point. And I think for us, it is center to making the goal as successful is the fact that we understood from the very outset that that affordable practicality is really, really key and tenement to sole success. And we keep and we're keeping it going forward. So let's, in addition to about five hundred dollars of additional equipment. So the price goes up three hundred, but the content goes up five hundred. So there's a lot more value inside even the base car. And as I mentioned earlier, there's uh, a lot more competition. It's no longer the other box cars that we competed with the new crossovers. So we took a look at them. So our mid grade, which is our plus grade, there's three grades going forward in the marketplace, just like today. There's the base sole, the plus, which is what we refer to the middle grade, and the top grade here is the explain. The plus grade, which is probably roughly about 50 to 55 percent of our mix, so it's the majority of our cars. Even compared to the new 500L, which I'm sure many of you have spent some time in, our starting price for our mid-grade is $900 below the Fiat 500 starting price. That's a huge, huge value advantage for, for Kia, and I think this is one of the key reasons that the new Soul is going to be a huge success. Uh, and also, this is in addition to the content. It includes the 18-inch, our 17-inch uh, alloy wheels, rear camera, a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty compared to their 16-inch steel wheels and a, a 450 warranty. So we've got a great story. And also compared to the Mini Countryman, our top grade, the Exclaim model, uh, starts at $20,300. Uh, this is roughly $1,800 below the starting price of the new Mini Countryman. So it's a huge story. Uh, all of these prices shown here do not include destination handling for us, which is an additional 795 
So we think a great value story for a great vehicle. And in fact, here is a graphic that basically shows us stacked up against the competition, including stalwarts, which we're getting crossed off with now, like the Civic and the Juke. You can see our starting price at fourteen seven for the base car and $20,300 for the up-level car, thousands less than anything else out there, including the Civic, which starts at eighteen one sixty five. So I think it's a great story, fourteen seven, only $300 more than the outgoing car. And uh, after you drive the car today, you're going to be like, wow, how'd they do it? So and that's part of our uh, secret of our success, is really uh, to maintain uh, being true to our roots, understanding what makes the work, which is the iconic design, making it bigger and improving it only where it counts, upgrading the interior with new materials, in improving the refinement, the driving dynamics, uh, making it more competitive than ever, even including these new uh, entries coming out here, but at the same time still keeping it fun, funky, and fresh. And that's the secret to soul.